What's going on guys? So today I want to have a quick discussion about disposable lighters and something I learned about the Clipper lighter, which you might or might not already know. So what kind of uh, made me want to do this video is I had a viewer ask me if I wanted this lighter that they had. It says Clipper on here, right? It's a metal version of this, which has been available since the 70s, actually before the 70s. Um, and they weren't quite sure if it was real or not, and I didn't know that they made any kind of fakes. But it turns out that this is not actually a Clipper brand. This is just a you know counterfeit type lighter. Um, it's supposed to mimic this lighter, but in metal. But the big difference is that these take butane, right? All three of these disposable lighters take butane fluid, whereas this one is more uh, traditional. And you know this thing opens up on the bottom, and we have a spot to put regular lighter fluid. Okay, so it'll soak it up, kind of like a Zippo lighter or something similar. So. Um, it was interesting because I was doing some research to find out if this was a real clipper design or not. It turns out it is not. It is a, um, a counterfeit. Clipper does make a metal version, but it's their minis, and they only make it with the butane. Okay, so it has an open top like this and works just like this, uh, only it's metal. Whereas this one, like I said, is a totally different design. So that turned out to be a counterfeit. So the whole thing kind of got me thinking about disposable lighters and I wanted to kind of quickly talk about these and compare them as well as tell you what I've learned about the Clipper lighter. I feel kind of dumb because I just never knew this, but now that I learned it, I wanted to spread the news in case you didn't know it. So first we have the Bic lighter, right? This is the mini Bic, but it's representing all Bic lighters. Uh, relatively cheap, they sell anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar, maybe like a dollar fifty you know, is a very high price for one. If you happen to go to a gas station or something, they might be ripping you off and, and charging a little bit more. But generally speaking, 50 cents to a dollar for a full-size Bic or the Mini Bic. We all know them, right? Most people use them. They run out of fuel, you throw them away. Disposable lighter. Then we have the super cheap disposable lighters. This is not even branded. Uh, most times they're not. They come in a variety of different colors. They're just super, super cheap to buy, but they're also unreliable. Okay, I find that Bics are way more reliable, work way more often than lighters like this. In fact, this one was almost filled with fluid when I got it, but there must have been some kind of leak. I see a small crack on top here, but I didn't use this lighter, but somehow the fluid slowly leaked out until it's empty. So now it's completely useless and non-refillable. So they both serve their purpose. People use them. When they're done, they throw them out. Then we have the Clipper lighter. Now the Clipper lighter, I always thought was a disposable lighter, but guess what? It turns out it's not disposable. Not only can you fill it, I don't know why I never really looked at the bottom of these before because I'd use these and I'd throw them out, thinking that they're disposable lighters. Why? Because they're super cheap. These, again, just like a Bic lighter, go anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar, maybe a dollar 50 at most. More like 50 cents when you're buying like, you know, four packs or more. Uh, but I always thought they were just cheap plastic disposable lighters. That is not the case. So I'm here to pass on the information that I recently learned. Not only are these refillable, which I should have noticed on the bottom, okay, so these are refillable with butane fluid, but also <laughs> the wheel lifts up, okay, so that you can replace the flint. So this is your flint tube, right? There's a little screw in the bottom here. If you were to unscrew this all the way, you can replace the flint in here as well. Uh, that's crazy. I had no idea that these were reusable. Because they're so cheap, I just made the assumption that they are disposable, but they're not. So if you happen to like this style of, of lighter, but they also make uh, other shapes as well, and they also make a, uh, a smaller metal one, similar to the counterfeit that I showed, uh, but it has an open top, works exactly the same, only it's metal. And I think that's like maybe two or three dollars, so it's still very affordable. Now one thing about these clipper lighters, they have a distinguishable uh, wheel pattern. It's kind of like star-shaped, okay, as opposed to just a standard round wheel. What's interesting with this counterfeit is the counterfeit comes with a round wheel. However, it has the spare clipper style wheel. All right, I thought that was pretty interesting. So what that means is that I can pull this out here. If I want, I can put this one in here if I preferred the round one instead. So it's kind of interchangeable, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, did you know that the Clipper lighters were refillable and reusable? Did you know about the flint? Because I didn't. So now that I do, I wanted to pass the information on to you. So let me know. Do you guys use Bic lighters? Do you use these super, super cheap disposable ones? Or do you use Clippers? Uh, you know, 
a lot of you guys are gonna tell me, oh, duh, come on, Jeff, you didn't know that? No, sometimes you just don't know things until someone tells you. Uh, I had a viewer tell me, this was a couple of years ago, but they told me that they love Zippos, but they're just kind of expensive. You know, once they run out and you have to throw them out, what, what do you mean? <laughs> and he explained to me that, yeah, you know, I, I keep filling them up and stuff, but eventually that, you know, the wick, it, it burns up and then I, I gotta buy a new one. And I proceeded to tell them that they can replace that wick. They had no idea. It was a big forehead slap moment. Like, I can't imagine how many Zippo lighters this particular person bought because they were throwing them out. So, you know, not everything is common sense. I mean, it's not like when you go to school, they teach you about lighters or anything. You know, some of these things in life, we just have to learn from hearing from others. So I just learned about this and now I'm telling you so you could pass it on to someone else who doesn't know. And then more people know. But yeah, pretty interesting stuff. So as much as I love my mini Bic lighters, I will still use these in the case that I have. These are just total junk. I really don't like these. I happen to have a couple of these because they, they're kind of like inserts for a butane lighter, which we're going to talk about in the future, in a future video, because I'm going to do a review on a large torch. So stay tuned for that. But honestly, for the money, these clipper lighters, and they come in a ton of different designs, just like Bix. You can get plain colors and stuff, but they have a ton of different you know, images and things that can reflect your personality. Um, had no idea. No idea that they were fillable and reusable. Super cool. So such a cheap, reliable lighter that you can reuse, unlike the cheap, reliable lighter that you throw out and buy a new one. So just passing on the info. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.